Hello and welcome to our series of how-to videos for our DIY picture framing products. Whether you're just learning to frame or you've actually been framing for a while and want to take it to a home-based business, this series of videos will help you all the way through. It comes in four different sizes. We have an 860B, a 1060B, 1260B and 1660B, which equates to a 32-inch cut, a 40-inch cut, a 47-inch cut and a 60-inch cut. Out of the box, you'll receive uh, a kit with two stops, a speed stop, some blades, two allen keys, a straight cutter and your bevel cutter. Also attached to the board is a slip mat stop and another stop here for your, for your undercutting board. We have a brace squaring arm which you need to attach. The point you need to attach is two screws, one screw to the end and one screw to the top. The speed stop fits in a series of holes whether you're using metric or up the other way for imperial and this makes it a quick action to get to your exact size. We also have a support arm on this side which when you're going out to wider mats allows your arm to be supported. A unique feature of the Mapmaster system is the border width measuring with speed stop holes top and bottom. The bottom one is closer to people for imperial sizes and further away is for metric and on the scale we have both imperial and metric. For metric sizes Let's say you're wanting seven centimeters, simply drop the pin in next to the seven and push this side of the rule up to there and tighten the knobs. For imperial, simply turn it over and that drop the pin in and that equivalent would give us three inches and simply do the screws up. Some of the great features about our advanced mat cutting system is the aluminium base and the hinged rail. It won't warp or twist. We also on the back have rubber gaskets inserted into the base for non-slip. One of the other great features is the ability to use your right hand squaring arm to size down your board. So when we work out our actual frame size we can simply slide off our border width arm, take out our slip mat, and then to cut down our board, we simply slide it through. We can use one of the stops, simply slide off, attach to this arm, and let's say we want uh, 31 centimeters or 12 inches up to that stop. We can move this one out of the way and then using our straight cutter with different blade steps, so if you're cutting foam board or just mount board, simply attach, lower the arm and pull through smoothly, sizing our board. When it comes to cutting our single mat, once we've sized our board and worked out our border width, what we do is translate that border width into the speed stop side. And let's say we're going for a eight centimeter or three and a quarter inch mat. We have our cut through mat here, which has got a stop to stop it slipping. Then we bring in our board, and on the reverse side, push it all the way through so that this is parallel and draw a series of lines and these are our guide for our cutting head with our cutting head it comes through on the bevel there's a, one of the allen keys is a, a depth adjustment for this blade it hooks on to the main rail and runs along. Now we use 
our lines because of the line on the cutting head. So we're running from this line up to the top. Several ways you can do this. You can use one stop, bring it in, lining up your line here and then adjusting there. You can also use a bottom one and bring that up to that point. So what we'll be doing is we'll be cutting from pushing in and along. Turning around, you can also use it, let's say, without the bottom one. Coming in, using this finger as your guide, push in and forward. As you get more advanced, you can remove both using your finger as a guide to push in up to the top point and then continue around simply cutting your mat and you drop out some more great features about this range of mat cutters is that our main rail also has a rubber gasket so we're holding firmly and not sliding. Some of the main things that go wrong with any mat cutter is slippage and this sliding along. We also have a great feature with the slip mat stop so all you do is bring this in and that acts as another stop so when you're pushing forward you're not pushing the mat with it. So you've got two forms of stopping it. One is your gasket and two of this. The action for your cutting head is not pushing down this way. It's actually pushing in and then forward. So push in that way, drop your elbow, and then push forward. And that will give you trouble-free cutting. So our advanced range of mat cutters, being in the 32-inch or half-board size, right up to the 60 inch which is oversized board has some great features starting with our right hand square arm with our brace which supports your mat our slip mat stops for both the undercutting mat and your mat these two stops for your cutting head our speed stop system with our support arm for our border width and our pin which allows you to quick and easily change either using metric or imperial. The aluminium base and hinge rail make for a great sturdy cutter so if you're a, a, a keen hobbyist or right up to a frame shop who may have a computer controlled and want a, a, want a backup machine this cutter's for you.